walk the globe today for, with uh, discussions that involve West Africa, the Middle East, uh, Southeast Asia, and uh, in the networks that actually connect uh, violent extremist organizations from the Western Hemisphere to Southeast Asia. Um, I think some of the conclusions uh, were one that we are dealing with a trans-regional threat and, uh, and it's going to require more effective collect collective action by nations that are affected. Uh, you know, one of the anecdotes is that uh, in Syria and Iraq, we saw as many as 40,000 foreign fighters from 120 different countries, which gives you some sense of uh, the, uh, the range of, uh, of ISIS's challenge. Uh, although today, uh, primarily spoke about ISIS because we view that today as the, as the most virulent strain of violent extremism. We, re we really are talking about a military network that we expect to be enduring to deal with all forms of violent extremism, uh, ISIS and Al-Qaeda today, but any trans-regional threats.